Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Svetlana and here we talk about perfumes. And today I wanted to talk about perfumes for a nice fall weather, for the last golden uh, sunny days when the sun is very lazy, the sun is not so warm, the sun is like almost orangey, very bright and you want to capture the warmth of this light for the whole winter. So let's talk about those sunny perfumes that bring sun into the days, into the fall days, uh, when the weather is changing, when it's probably windy, when it starts raining sometimes, and you want to capture the last rays of the light to stay with you. First of all is Faces of Francis. This is my latest purchase and I bought it uh, at Neiman Marcus. I don't usually purchase anything in offline stores because the price is so different and um, I usually stay at home. You know that I'm a stay-at-home mom and I don't have so much time to go to stores and I just had one day, one day probably in a whole year when I enjoyed trying different perfumes and I was shocked how amazing this perfume is. This is so beautiful, elegant, uh, this is so feminine. I would say it's intellectual. So on the top you have saffron with aldehydes and then you have pistachios, you have dripped with juniper, then you have some oud, you have styrax, ambergris, cypril oil and vetiver. So what is this scent about? It's about faces of Francis, you know Francis Bacon, he was painting strange faces and his faces were decomposed and when I was traveling to Italy I saw Francis Bacon's portraits even in Vatican so this is a very important artist I guess and I like that this house of Wilhelm Parfumery uh, they paid so much attention to the story behind the perfume that is very interesting amazing it creates a whole story behind the perfume and that's why i fell in love with this and i think saffron with aldehydes it just radiates in the sun and it brings you that warmth and light and it is a very elegant very expensive sounding it is not cheap perfume i know but I am enjoying every scent of it. It is really worth it. Please give it a try and please share your opinion what you think about this perfume because I am in love. This is my new love. So the next one is a new perfume from Penhaligans and it's Solaris and I blind bought it. I am uh, really doing it. I know, I know but I, I have so much trust in Quentin Biche, uh, who is the perfumer of this uh, perfume, uh, that I just blind bought it and uh, I fell in love too. It's so beautiful, it's so thick, it's so flowery, it has a lot of flowers there, it has solar notes, it is very concentrated, that makes me Think about the sun in a bottle and this is uh, this fits so good for the fall days or when there's not not so much sun and whatever sun you get is so precious that you want to have it on you and it is really really beautiful one solaris it is not too long lasting but i really don't mind to update it and i really enjoy the bottle 
and this is a beautiful beautiful solar perfume the next sunny perfume is starlight first of all just imagine the light that is going through this bottle this is an amazing bottle from Zerjov. I really love this house. I think many perfumes from there are sunny, <laughs> bring a lot of light and they radiate from you and they're really beautiful, expensive smells. This is very spicy. There's a lot of cardamom, bergamot, cinnamon, almond, cloves. I can feel cloves. And then there's amber and cedar in the base. Very beautiful, very light, uh, very airy. It, bring, it has a lot of air inside, so it allows you to breathe. And it really keeps you warm, even when it's windy or cold and it is very sunny, just a sun in a bottle. Another perfume that I really, really like, Narcosis by Vertu. This is a, a Turkish house, but they produce their perfumes in France. I have not heard about this perfume a lot recently, and I really love it, and I would like to talk about it because it's really, Sunny. It has a lot of juicy notes from the peach, from mango, and it, it is all opposed to coffee. And coffee makes it also powdery and warm and dark. And it's all together, it brings you the essence of the fall. Very sweet, powdery, juicy, and at the same time, um, dark because of the coffee and warm a very beautiful elegant controversial perfume uh, but please let me know what you think about it if you have tried it and if you have not please take a try the next one is a new perfume from this year and it is gozo oops and this is Gozo by Jeroboam. This is their first bottle in orange color. Usually they make them black. And, oh my God, it is thick. It is very tuberosey. It's very powdery tuberose, very powerful, very strong. Uh, it has some saffron. It has some violet leaves that makes it even more powdery, geranium, patchouli, ambroxan, and white musk. But most of all, I can feel here two girls with saffron, and you know, I love saffron so much. And gives such a, an elegant twist to a perfume, and I really love saffron in perfumes. And two girls here is amazing. It is very nice powerful thick uh, very projecting perfume it brings light not only to you but for everyone in the room it brings color in your life and uh, i read an article about this perfume and it is said that they created a color in the bottle so it is a very beautiful color in a bottle Next one is Ani by Nishane. I know there's an X whole version, but I prefer the classic one. I really love this version of Ani. I fell in love with Ani in winter and I have not fallen out of love. It is so elegant, it is so green. I can almost smell some evergreen notes there. There's ginger, bergamot, pink pepper on the top with green notes. And then cardamom, a black currant, Turkish rose, and a very beautiful base with vanilla, benzoin, sandalwood, cedar, ambergris, patchouli, 
and mask but because i was wearing it when i was skiing i can almost smell that cedar wood in cold air i can feel those pine trees and that's what i remember when i smell this perfume and it smells really expensive very elegant uh, when you wear it with a white t-shirt maybe you have a meeting it is a perfect scent for a boss woman it gives you some status power and strength and at the same time it's really beautiful the next one is Soleil Brulant by Tom Ford and this is my favorite Soleil version of all four of them he has Soleil de Feu is the latest one, then uh, Soleil Blanc and Soleil Neige, so three of them. And I really love it. In this scent, the sun is translated with uh, honey. And honey, when you spray it on your skin, you can see some powdery honey that really makes you feel about sun on your skin i also feel some spices and it it is very beautiful it is almost skin sand it sits very close to you you if you want to feel it you need to update it really really often but i don't mind it and i think it is the most beautiful soleil from by tom ford and I really love it. I, I think for sunny days and fall, it will bring you the best of the sun, the best of the memories of the summer. Uh, and uh, you, hopefully you will create more memories. And it makes you feel cozy, uh, cocoony and uh, comfortable, even if it's cold and even rainy. Oh, it's so beautiful. So the next one, the sun in a bottle is the half by Kajal. I know many people are talking about this and I cannot, uh, cannot omit it. So this is basically for those who like Herbapura, who like Kirke, who like a musk, very strong musk, very sweet fruits. So here we have passion fruit. We have uh, Granny Smith. So Granny Smith gives some acidity and passion fruit too. It's sweet and sour. Then we have a cedar, coriander, musk, amber, patchouli. It is a really powerful scent and it is for days when it's not so sunny probably but it helps you to keep the sun inside of you when it's windy it's strong enough to hold even when it's windy or rainy and you will feel on you you will feel it on your clothes i think you will even project and everybody will enjoy it and it will be a very nice um hint to the sun coming from the scent another perfume uh, that i um, got acquainted with is mila harris scared dog and i just recently learned about this perfume and i tried it and i ordered a sample and I ordered a decant and then I ordered a bottle because it is really really beautiful just think about it when Mila Harris uh, created a, a description for a future perfume they took a paragraph from Tender is, Na Tender is a Night by uh, Fitzgerald and that is description for this perfume unfortunately i have not read this book and I, I still need to read it but just imagine how romantic it is so what is this perfume about it's about rose and oud 
probably you don't like this combination but it's so different there are some sweet notes in the base that are not described anyhow it's just uh, sweet notes and this sweetness uh, brings a different touch to that combination rose and nude and it makes you feel so elegant and feminine it is sweet but it's a, like a good taste sweet it's very elegant it's not uh, like a little bit <laughs> too much uh, like the hub it is a very beautiful there's a beautiful projection it is low, long lasting when you feel it from somebody it's really elegant it's not overpowering scent it's very nice and uh, it smells expensive that smells expensive that's what i can say another perfume for feeling the sun in the fall is sun based by byredo it's all said in the name of it it's sun based you want to still feel the, the, the sun and you still want to feel the sun on your skin so it is very citrusy and there's citrus and there's cotton candy and cotton candy gives some texture it feels powdery it feels very sweet and soft not overpowering very elegant very nice it gives you like vitamin c dose when it's so needed so it's a vitamin c shot for you vitamin c shot from byredo some days <laughs> uh, let's move to designer fragrances from niche fragrances to designer and the perfect scent for the fall days in chloe nomad and i can uh, say that it smells like the evening sun going close to the horizon mm. so what they did from the classic version they just left of the mirror ball then uh, they left oak moss and divana they, they have a green notes and then there's sandalwood and musk and it is so folly feeling it gives you a very cozy feeling when you probably wearing a coat or you were in a blazer or you were in something warm uh, that kind of feeling you have the texture of this perfume is like moss you know it's like suede that's how i feel it and it's very elegant the whole the chloe brand is very elegant very feminine it's very refined it goes well with a leather jackets leather coats cashmere sweaters that's how i see it and it's perfect it has some sunny feeling in that maybe it's because of that mirable plum and i really love it i wear it in the fall i just started wearing it i have a classic version and i really enjoy it i think it's one of the best designer fragrances another designer fragrance is Perfect Intense but by Marc Jacobs. I really love it. I like the bottle and you know that it was uh, created by uh, Marc ja Jacobs himself or it is said so. So what I really like about it, oh my god, it's really intoxicating. It has almond in it, it's, it has narcissus in it. Uh, some night blooming jasmine and sandalwood so there's some green notes of narcissus and then there's almondy um, sand which is in the heart and then a sandal is in the base and it's also beautiful I 
I really don't even split it into components because it's really beautiful and I want to feel it on me. I had uh, several days in a row when I was using it and it's a long lasting and projecting very nice perfume. I really like it. It's not often that I like Marc Jacobs perfume, so that one is one of the best. Uh, this one, uh, John Richmond, uh, it's more like a memory, it's a designer fragrance, but it's an oldie one, it's from 2009. And I love it in, to use it in fall. Uh, because I have memories when I was traveling in Europe and I remember when I went to uh, Brugge, you know, it's like northern Venice and it's very uh, humid there, it can become very cold and I remember I was wearing this and it, it wears very well when it's humid around you so there's a lot of white flowers in the in the heart there's nurse narcissus lily magnolia then a pear on the top with blackberry and patchouli sandalwood amber in the base and those white flowers they make it perfect for humid weather so for me it, of course there's a lot of memories and from my memory i remember how it smells when it's humid outside. So I guess when it's rainy, uh, it will smell the best. And uh, I really look forward to rainy days. And a nice and beautiful perfume for sunny days is Cartier La Panthère. It's a shipper. I think it's a fruity shipper because the main notes are strawberries and oak moss. Uh, there's some also dried fruits, rhubarb, anise, gardenia, lang lang, pear, orange blossom. And the base is typical shipper base. You have oak moss, you have musk, leather, and patchouli. So this is upscale perfume uh, you want to wear it when you go out it's very elegant it smells really expensive you want to wear it uh, with high heels and nice little black dress it's a uh, classy without being too intimidating I think it's a perfect perfect smell perfect scent for full days because it has some sun, it has dried fruit, strawberries, rhubarb, it's so juicy and fruity and at the same time there's oak moss and patchouli base which brings out the hint to some heavier shoes than in summer, maybe heavier jackets than in summer. So I think of it this way that there is some hint to some extra clothes to warm clothes in the base when there's oak moss and leather and <clears throat> patchouli so this is it for today please let me know if you liked it or please let me know your sunny fragrances that you love that you can recommend and if you like the video please hit the like button please subscribe uh, to see more and let's stay in touch and i will see you later thank you